What's up, YouTube? Gonna be doing a quick overview uh, of a Daniel Defense. Uh, this is the DDM4 V2. I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible because I'm out of room on my phone almost, and it's gonna cut off soon. So we're gonna go over this. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of videos on YouTube talking about the Daniel Defense rifles much, and I haven't seen hardly any, if any at all, going through an overview of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna be a review. It's gonna be just kind of a show and tell. So anyway, let's start with the rifle, try to blow through this video real quick. Uh, the gun ships with a um, Magpul MOE grit or stock on there. Uh, I don't like the MOE stock, it's loose and wobbly, it got a lot of play in it so I took it off, put a CTR stock because I had one laying around. Uh, it locks up nice and tight that way uh, and it has a quick detach sling point on there. Daniel Defense also gives you a quick detach uh, swivel spot there for a... Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry, for, for a swivel there, uh, that's the quick detach point, so you just got to pop one in right there, and then you have a single point sling mount, which is nice, so you don't have to go out and buy some kind of Magpul ASAP sling mount or other kind of mount right there and put on there and spend more money. I went ahead and put a BCM charging handle on there. That is the Mod 3 latch. Uh, that's the large latch. Uh, they make them in uh, small and medium as well. I like the large because it gives you a lot of room to really grip onto that thing if you have to clear a malfunction or if you just want to rack the uh, the charging handle with one hand. It gives you a lot of grip and a lot of purchase on there. I like that a lot. I think that's about one of the best $50 upgrades that you can make to an AR. Um, they ship with a standard pistol grip. I don't like that. I'll probably replace it. I've already got one on the way, as a matter of fact, from Ergo Grip. Uh, so I'll, that'll be here today, hopefully, actually. Um, we've got a Magpul Enhanced Trigger Guard right here as well. That comes standard on the rifle. They also, Magpul gives, or uh, I'm sorry, Daniel Defense gives you a vertical foregrip, which is of good quality. Uh, you can pull this off right here. Um, and I think you've got some battery storage up in there. You've got a, uh, let's see where else we can go. Daniel Defense makes these uh, on their own. It uh, looks like a basic birdcage A2 flash hider, but it's it's just the machining on it's much better. Um, and it's made in-house, so it's really nice. Fit and finish and quality is great. Very, very, very much higher than the standard A2 flash hider. Oh, let's see where we can go next on this gun. Got the enhanced flared magazine well. Uh, I'm not going to take the magazine out, but allows for faster reloading. I already showed you the rear receiver quick detach swivel attachment point. Um, upper receiver itself is all mil spec with indexing marks and M4 feed ramps. You got your barrel, which looks really good. Uh, it's kind of a lighter color than the the black the rest of the barrel. I mean the rest. I'm sorry the rest of the gun the receiver itself But the barrel is chrome ball chrome molly vanadium steel. Uh, it's cold hammer forged of course uh, With a one and seven twist rate 16 inches uh, with a carbine length gas system Magpul our uh, uh, Daniel Defense makes some of the best hand guards in the world if not the best uh, it ships out of the box with this handguard on it, which is Daniel Defense's new DDM4 rail, is what they call it. It's a one-piece rail system, not a two-piece or anything like that. It's got Daniel Defense's proprietary bolt-up system, I think that's what they call it. Bolts to the receiver, I believe, and it's super, super, super rock-solid. No play or wiggle in it whatsoever at all. Very, very, very nice. I mean, the machining is, is just ridiculous. Free floated, of course. Daniel Defense, Incorporated, Black Creek, Georgia. That's what that says. Got a Trigicon ACOG on the rifle. This is the TA-31 RCO uh, with a kill flash. It's 
the standard issue Marine uh, standard issue Marine Corps ACOG. That's what the, all those guys use, so it's good enough for me. It's got fiber optics on the top of it so that it can gather a uh, light source from outside or inside and automatically adjust the reticle on the inside. So if you're outside and it's dark, uh, the tritium on the inside of the rifle is going to glow so that you can get a better sight picture. If it's bright outside or whatnot, it's going to be dimmer. Um, the ACOG, I mean, I mean the uh, the kill flash there, the honeycomb looking thing, uh, that is to dim the uh, or uh, kill the glare from the lens on the front of the optic, uh, so that people couldn't pick up where you were shooting from in the desert or something like that. Not that I'm going to be doing a lot of shooting in the desert. Uh, radioactive tritium, as I said, on the inside of the rifle. Uh, will make that reticle, that red chevron reticle, automatically, naturally glow. Uh, it's a radioactive chemical, does it on its own, doesn't need charging or batteries. I really like that ACOG. It's a great optic. It's a great feature for the DDM V4, v, DDM V, DDM V2. If I could speak, I'd be okay. But we also have... In an ACOG box, we have a aim point, same point patrol rifle optic or aim point pro. Uh, it's a great little optic as well, and I prefer it over the ACOG. Uh, I just can pick up targets a lot quicker with this, um, and I'm actually more accurate with it, and I just don't really have much of a use for magnification, so I use this more often than that. But this is very nice. Uh, the mount itself is the same mount that comes on an M2, a Comp M2, or M3, or, a, or I'm sorry, not a, not any of those. It's compatible with those, but it's the same mount that ships with the uh, Comp M4. But uh, I've got a LaRue mount on the way for, for this, as well as for the aim, or for the Trigicon. So, be glad to get those, and yeah. So, just give you guys one more look at it. because my camera is about to cut off. So that is one more look at a Daniel Defense DDM4 version 2 V2. Uh, great, great gun. Shoots like an absolute dream. There's a huge difference in a gun like this and an entry level AR, and you can really tell it when you shoot one. Uh, MSRP on this gun is $1,800, but you'll be good to find one for under 2000 right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.